Sneha and you are watching my channel Book Junction. Welcome to today's video. So a lot of you guys showed interest in Vex King's new book Healing is the New High and you guys wanted me to review it. So here I am with the review and I finished reading the book just a few days back and I think now I have gathered all my thoughts. So if you are interested in knowing whether you should buy this book or not then definitely keep on watching. Now if you have no idea about Vex King he released his first book called Good Life Good Vibes that I absolutely loved. Now Good Life Good Vibes was all about Law of Vibration which is similar to Law of Attraction but personally I loved the concept of law of vibration more because it sounded more practical and more approachable and less like magic so that's why I personally loved it more and the way Vex King talked about it in his first book I really enjoyed that and I thought that it was more approachable and really um, something that you can adopt in your life as well now this book healing is the new high is like an extension to his first book good life good vibes because it will enable you to practice self-love because a lot of times in your life you have a lot of traumas and a lot of bad experiences that blocks your path and you have no idea about that so if there is something that is stopping you from practicing self-love if there is something that is stopping you from vibrating on a higher frequency then there is definitely something that is blocking your path and to uh, clean your path you have to cleanse your soul as well you have to remove all those traumas and for that this book comes as a rescue because in this book where King has talked about all the elements that you need in order to heal from all those traumas. Now this book is really good because he starts the book with his own experiences. Now let me tell you a little bit about Vex King so that you know why you should trust the author. Now Vex King lost his father when he was just a baby and his mother took care of their family. A lot of times they were homeless and they also lived in abusive neighborhoods where they had to go through racism, abuse and a lot of other things that were not really on the positive side so he did have to go through a lot in his life yet he didn't become bitter and he did not lose hope in life in fact he healed his traumas and he became the person he is today so today he is like a content creator and he's also a mind coach so he has coached a lot of people who are going through different traumas and he shares some of his clients experiences as well in the book however what really touched my heart was the way he shares about his own experiences what he went through so when an author does that it establishes a connection with the reader and it truly did because when I read about what he went through and how he was in a toxic relationship as well that sort of made me believe in the person that Vex King is because it's very important when you're reading a non-fiction book to create that trust in the author so that really happened with me so he was also in a very toxic relationship and it was really bad he was betrayed he was cheated on and a lot of things happened so all of that trauma of his childhood of his abusive neighbor of racism of that toxic relationship really affected him but he grew out of that he grew through that and today he is a person who is influencing so many people in such a positive way so that really made me believe in life that really made me believe and hope that there is definitely a silver lining and there is definitely a light at the end of the tunnel so if you are going through a very bad phase in your life if you're going through a bad breakup or if you have lost someone in your life I'm sure that you will find a lot of wisdom in this book. I think the first book was really good but in this book he actually shares a lot of practices like practical lessons that you can do in order to heal from your traumas. I'll talk about them in a while as well. Now let me read out a little bit about inner healing that he has written over here. So he says that inner healing is the act of letting go of our past conditioning, creating a new empowering belief system for ourselves and embracing the unknowns of the future with the confidence that we are strong and capable no matter what comes our way so this is what he means by inner healing now in order to heal from your traumas and in order to practice this inner healing thing you have to heal your seven bodies so in the book he talks about our seven bodies basically we don't just have this physical body we have seven uh, bodies and 
those bodies are the physical body that of course you know our physical body then comes the etheric body the astral body the mental body the spiritual body the cosmic body and lastly the nirvanic body so these are our seven bodies and in order to heal truly we have to heal all of them vex king has shared multiple step by step processes to heal from within in different ways like for physical body then for mental body emotional body etc so you will find several exercises inside this book that you can do that you can practice to heal and i loved each one of them i did practice some of them and trust me instantly it made me feel so good he breaks down the entire process in such small little steps that it is so easy for you to follow them and i did practice some of them and i really loved them enjoyed them thoroughly it made me feel good instantly i personally think that this book is going to help so many people across the world especially during these times when people are just so overwhelmed because of the pandemic and people have lost their loved ones i'm sure that there are people who have lost faith in their lives as well if you know someone like that i would say that you can recommend them books like these it will definitely help them and if you are also overwhelmed if you don't know how to go about life what to do because i read that one of the major side effects of covid-19 is that people will definitely go through phases of depression and anxiety so yeah if you are also feeling like that if you went through covid if you are feeling overwhelmed and if you are getting depressive thoughts then this is the time to invest in books like these and practice all these steps practice all these exercises because they will definitely help you there are so many breathing exercises inside this book as well and meditation uh, exercises so if you are confused about meditation how to go about that again you will find multiple exercises inside the book that will help you to meditate also if you love quotations then i'm sure that you will love this book as well because there are so many amazing quotes inside the book that you can write in your diary now i'm sure a lot of you guys would want to know which one i liked more the first book or the second book like i'm sure you want to know a comparative thing but it's very difficult for me to compare the two books because they are just so different and they are just so important in their own ways because if the first book didn't exist of course this wouldn't and the first book without this book is incomplete as well. so i feel like these two books are complementary if you have read the first book i feel like you should definitely go ahead and read the second book as well and if you haven't read the first book and if you are not interested in that book you can still read this book it's not like if you have not read his first book you cannot read healing is the new high you can definitely read healing is the new high just by itself you don't have to read his first book in order to understand this better however if you read his first book as well then you will have a more wholesome experience that's what i feel so i will definitely link both the books in the description box so if you want to read you can buy them and read them and let me know if you loved them as well now let me quickly talk about the writing in the book the writing is simple sweet and easy it's not difficult at all so if you are a beginner you will be able to read this book easily his writing is very accessible since he is a social media content creator as well he knows that it is more important for him to reach a wider audience to make the impact and the best way to do that is to write things in a very simple way so i think it's pretty apparent that i highly recommend his books both of his books actually and if you haven't read any of his books please go ahead and read them and if you have read the first one then i highly recommend his second book as well don't even think twice just go ahead and read the books you will definitely learn so much and it will definitely help you to heal from within as well All right guys so that was all for today's video I really hope that you all enjoyed this video and found it valuable if you did then definitely like share and subscribe to my channel let's hit the 30k threshold really soon and definitely click on the bell icon as well so you are notified with all the further updates and I'll see you in my next video until then bye bye